Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I have a new devlog for you, and in this devlog, I'm gonna be speaking to you about the 1.2.5 or GT update. Just everything revolving around it. Um obviously there's not gonna be a whole lot of new features. There's no release date here. I'm not, you know, this isn't a huge uh, announcement. It's just me letting you guys know how things are going, updating you guys on development, make sure you guys are a little bit in the loop, you know, as much as possible, as much as I'm comfortable with here. So, I want to start with um, showing you guys a couple new uh, features. I know, I said I wouldn't, but it, it's more like I'm going to show you guys auto stack, and I'm going to show you guys um, some other uh, small change you guys might like. So, let's get right into that. Hello there, for the first feature I'd like to show off, uh, TP conversion, right? It's not a new feature, however. It's just a feature that is, for a long time, been quite an obnoxious. Um, as right, you see the auto stacking. So, I got these gems. You know, normally when you right-click this, you'd have to, well, it would only do, like, one conversion at a time, if that makes sense. You'd right-click it, get, like, one up convert or something. It's weird. Anyway, look at this. It converts all of them. Uh... Very cool. It, it stacks them awkwardly, but, uh, you know, better than nothing. And it says it in chat. Huge fan of this. I love this. I learned how to do little hover chat messages where you can hover and see things. Super cool. Yeah, hi. A little from the future here. I just wanted to mention that this is like, it's also on questing, as you can see here. And challenger drops, as you can see here. So yeah, cool. Quest rewards, challenger drops also show this hover text. Technically, I did these first. But, uh, video length continuity, yes, goodbye. So, just show that that works here. Grab all of these TP gems. The new textures, by the way, if you can't tell. So, a crap ton of TP. Uh, you can't do it with a full inventory. Um, I mean, it, it will tell you if you have a full inventory. So, I have a full inventory. Let me just... Oh. There we go. Free up at least four slots. And the only reason it does that is just it can't convert with the full inventory. Trust me, I tried. And yes, it will change like that while you're doing that. Just because, you know, once you remove a few stacks, the slots needed will change because you have going to give a different result. Because it gives, it breaks it down as much as possible. It converts it down to the lowest gem it can. Which is pretty neat in my opinion. So, on to this. Y'all see that. You see this? Oh look, it's the little, oh that's cool. Anyway, on to the next one. You guys see this? The Zenny conversion bot? Oh, what's this? This right here is the Zenny trade bot, of course, the what you guys are used to. This, however, got some one Zennies. By the way, um, this is just a pretty cool system. You know, uh, I did that work right there for that TP conversion, and then I'm like, why not make Zenny auto convert? It's super obnoxious, like I hate having to do that. Uh, but yeah, there you go, Zenny conversion. It works the exact same way. It's the same code, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, there's also holograms here all around the spawn. I'm not going to walk around because there's things you guys can't see. Haha. Uh -huh. Anywho, though, so that's nice. Um, that all for that, we can get on to uh, just stacking, though. You see uh, hundreds of, like, anything that enters your inventory auto stacks. So, you know. That, that one's any scared me, I'm not going to lie. I was like, not stacking. So, anyway, I'm just gonna do a little quick cut of things that stack, and I'll put it on screen as I show it. So, simply everything stacks, even crate token, you know, just everything that can will stack, and then there's descriptions on most things, I mean... Anything that didn't have a description will now have a description. Great keys also look cool. I didn't show that for whatever reason, but they look cool now. So they just got a little bit more detail. Uh, just to, you know, help people uh, traverse. You know, it will say halfway, uh, all the way in the back uh, at the entrance. So that's that's nice. Just wanted to throw that out there. So to talk about the 1.2.5 or GT update. First, I just want to... Uh, let you guys know that development is going very well. Uh, I'm super happy with everything we've done, everywhere we've come, every little thing I've done. Now, I'm well aware it's been quite a while. Excuse me. Since the 1.2.3 or U6 update. Um, 
clarifying a couple things uh this update has been in development since roughly september maybe early october at that um uh, definitely september sorry uh but i moved into a new place uh whatever back in uh july right after like actually the day after the, up the last update came out but whatever you know we got patches out we got everything everything good so it's been good since um i'm well aware of the lag you know you go, go watch devlog 14 if you want some info on that however i'll tell you over the last couple days i've been um maybe not finalizing but just going through all the code and just looking at things um through the lens of just performance you know I, we did this all the way back honestly in august before development officially started for the update i just took some time like i wasn't working um super hard because i was still on my little break between updates that i like doing but i was working on performance in the packet changes that were mentioned in devlog 14 the first little uh, teaser thing i think uh so with that i just want to let you guys know that we're doing our best on performance and you know I i'm going through making sure that every you know tick a tick is tw one twentieth of a second uh so 20 ticks is perfect server was running at that and it's typically not like a tick rate that i can just see like if i check it it's going to be at 20 but the server will be lagging because the lag is a ping thing there's a lot of network usage going to every single player Again, Devlog14, it's a great watch. If you guys care about why you're lagging, I'd appreciate the watch. Devlog15 is cool, too. It's more, um, oh, look at the cool stuff with Challengers. That's, that's a good one. Uh, I've removed a buttload of MBT tags, which is player data tags, from the player that are not used or just useless or change you know things like that just cleaning up the code cleaning up uh the player data cleaning up our systems making you know what's a cool thing i just did so character slots we use databases online of course um you have it loads the data it, it was loading it in four parts right now on the live server now it's eight don't worry about that but either way it would load eight times it would connect to the database and grab the data each it would grab the whole string of data but then split it and grab a segment uh, you know one of eight segments of course i know this might go over your head i just like talking about this stuff i'm super um passionate about it but uh it would grab this eight times but now it just pulls the string splits it sorts it into a this an array lit you know, coding anyway uh it's faster eight times maybe not eight times i hate like yes it, it is but if i say that it's probably not gonna be so let's say four even four times is good though i went from 800 ticks to load someone's data like my own with just a lot of stuff like i'd say mid to late game amount of data and then i switched the new one and it was like 100 to 300 varying of course um testing out just data from the live server to test server don't worry just making sure things are going to work when it rolls out so that um the update won't have a rough release and that's really what a lot of the time has been spent on like i i'm not like i'm full transparency i've been working on the update i'm not kind of weird word to use there but whatever uh i've been we've been working on the update every day like i'm i don't take many days off but when I, obviously i do to do things in real life whatever i'm doing but I've been I've been working the hardest that I can to uh, get this update. I uh, not for this specifically, but I, uh, back in August I stepped down from my uh, part time job that I had just to just because I wanted more time and I wasn't a huge fan of the job. So uh, I've been full time working on the server, you know, as much as I can. Whenever I wake up to when I go to sleep, it's 7 a.m. I think I woke up at like 9 p.m. It's uh. But, uh wonky sleep schedule but hey that's part of the uh part of my life um it's gonna be kind of a rambling video and it's more just an open like conversation if you guys want to ask me questions about development please do but just don't ask like what are you doing with super saiyan 4 because i'm not gonna answer that like here's what's gonna happen if i tell you an idea of where it scales you guys are just gonna not understand without full context you can't comprehend the point of something we don't do things simply like we like to put a lot of thought into things i have two full people who are just completely dedicated to scaling cat and Gobi, of course that's their entire task on my team 
do they scale just to make things as com not not purposely complex but things being complex there's a line of course where it's too complex but at the end of the day it's minecraft it's only so far we're even going to go we're well aware that you guys aren't coming here for a complex mmo with a million systems that you have to google just to figure anything out we want to try and make the entry level like knowledge pretty self-explanatory uh, improving the tutorial improving help menus um a couple other things like that you know the tips that we showed you guys a little while ago uh feature highlight also if you guys haven't been checking out the feature highlights what are you doing come on go check those out they're beautiful love them wow. um they're just cool little uh what are, what's it called whatever directed teasers it's not just a screenshot and a message it's well it, it is but it looks nice okay so i, I love those things so you guys will have a few more coming uh but i'm just uh first off thank you guys for your patience i know it, we've been pretty radio silent as far as talking to you guys about where the update's at and what's going on and uh you know i know it can be frustrating to wait this long for a minecraft update i'm well aware you guys aren't uh, at least i hope you guys aren't like playing every single day just see them for this update like if you guys get bored take a break please i by all means i don't you know we don't have enough content to uh compel or even deserve your guys's attention as if we're an mmo and we're you know we want to add more replayability and more content and all of these things but it just things take time time and i'm the only developer so <clears throat> excuse me but uh you know we're doing our best to get the most important things out as possible um i got something i could tell you guys uh that you guys don't know um this uh this one like thing in your menu uh what is it i think it's like the mind stat it's not the mind stat anymore and it does something what it does i don't know i i know of course but i'm not gonna tell you so you guys will find out uh maybe soon maybe not I, again it's one of those things that's like i'll tell you you guys are gonna question the validity of what we're doing with it and i'm all for open discussions but it's a lot easier for us to just do it you guys get to literally play it as we intend and then if you guys don't like it we can talk about that and we can work on it because you, you know listen if we do something you guys don't like we are fully open to change it we developed this server for you guys we're not developing it just like this isn't some type of um i don't even know what the monarchy i don't know whatever this is an open disc like discourse we can we can talk on things we make the server for your guys enjoyment so if we do something terrible that everyone hates make a suggestion talk about it be, be civil please don't uh don't insult us or whatever and uh, we'll we're, we're do the same back so with that being said, the mindset will actually do something. This, this update, um, e blast getting overhauled. You know, I'm just kind of summarizing a lot of things I've already told you guys. So, as we've mentioned before, e blasts are being changed. This update, how are they being changed? You might ask. Well, if you've ever played a key build, you'll understand the pain with them, and that being just their damage being inadequate or just them feeling kind of crap. So we've made them better this update right you know so to start the damage will be going up across the board the uh energy cost and the cost to make one you know the tp costs are changing uh tp cost is going up but i'll just preface that with like tp cost was literally null like it would cost a thousand or something at most so we made it balanced around the will stat so the more will you have, the more expensive the key blast is to make. Whatever though, it's an amount that is totally irrelevant. So like, if you're like level 100k, it's only a few million TP. Like, a 100k will that is. And if you're a 100k will, you can afford a couple mil TP. So, signature blast, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. It's just this. Uh, I'll fix this. Whatever. Uh, just tells you they're being introduced at some point in the future. So, for anyone wondering that, uh, we just put a little disclaimer in there for you. Uh... Fix this little button spacing, huh? I just did this a few minutes since I was recording this and I wanted to make it look shiny. Um, 
Look at this dude. So anyway, um, you can see this menu's been colored. The damage, uh, what shows this percent is the attack density. As you can see, it's color coordinated in the menu to demonstrate that. Um, obviously, you know, release is just your power release. And then density is what you set in the menu when you're creating a blast. Uh, so effect doesn't affect TP cost. Color doesn't affect it. only speed. Um, speed, type, and damage, of course. Damage just scales as you'd expect. And the uh, cost, etc. Uh, so this is cool. Whatever. It's normal, normal sounds. However, I will mention we did remove leveling. And that is just because the leveling system is far too in-depth for us to delve into at this moment as much as I would love to. It's just too much to handle for us. Everything else we're doing in this update, to be honest with you. But leveling will make a return at some point in the future. Um, you know, it's just... Sorry we can't get to it now, and I'm sorry for anyone who enjoyed it, but, you know, frankly, half of it was broken right now, so it's best to just remove it instead of leaving it here half broken and then you guys will be asking what's up you know so i hope that answers that question and yeah see everything in the menu is pretty nice color coordinated etc let's move on now we kaioken uh its health drain and energy drain got better this update there's actually i want to show that yeah i'll show that here check it out so i had to unlock kaioken i uh, i forgot to do that but anyway uh Kyle Ken. So when you click Kyle Ken on, this is what you see. Isn't that isn't that lovely? Uh, also, the action log looks the same. There's a uh, selection things. Whenever you select a form or technique, it will show on the screen. So that's nice. Um, and also, you know, as you see in the middle of the screen, it's on your screen, so you can't miss those prompts. The action log prompts uh, they stay there for like 25 seconds, but on your in the center, it's like seven. A little bit longer if the string is a little bit longer to allow you time to read it uh anywho though you could still do this you could press uh you know i'm pressing x whatever your action menu button is you press that this isn't current this is for the update of course press x1 boom 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 that's nice right uh you can also do g uh, i mean g is just the current one uh same thing for forms is uh but yeah that's cool. Just wanted to show that because I know the current Kaioken menu is, or lack of, is confusing. So there you go. I hope that helps all the early players who get confused because we're like, press G plus five, and it's like, what are you talking about, bro? Weird key combinations 10 minutes into the gameplay. I know it's awkward. Anyway, back to conversation. Key, um, Kaioken. Better energy drain, both in base and just the health drains improved, improved across the board. It was terrible. And uh, maybe not terrible, but in actual gameplay, it was too much. It's going down a uh, decent amount. I, I did that myself. Uh, don't worry, my scalers will prove the numbers. I'm not just going willy-nilly crazy on it. So, on to the next point we have. Let me, let me check my notes. The notes were checked. And what I found was all new control. For you to customize uh not there's uh there's quite a lot of new ones like a lot of these menu ones are new but uh they're the other controls that were a little bit down there uh it got just got moved up here just uh some of them were renamed etc just to look a little bit schnazzier and a little bit you know easier they're now sorted color coded etc um you know nice so you can press any of these to open any of these things uh this is these this one's new Useful commands, exactly what it sounds like. They don't even need to show it. It shows useful commands that you might not have known, like on time, gift box, etc. Cool. So, hope these uh, are your satisfaction. I love this. Things like this are like so cool to me. And I know it's just a, it's just some controls. Don't, don't get me wrong. I know they don't really change gameplay massively, but it's like it just removes a step. You want to go straight to mastery, bro? Just be like, M key. I'm not going to do it because, yeah. So, pressing like a single key instead of one key and then clicking the button. I mean, I know that's my new, but things like this are what I love in developing the server and this experience for you guys. I hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. Um, it is 
pretty much all that we have. Uh, back to general development talk. Um, I'm not going to give you guys a release estimate, and the reason we've been quiet about estimates on release, I know it's could, to a lot of you guys it might seem like the update's like over 10 mountains and on the other side of the planet, but we're working uh, hard. We're approaching the end game. Again, no estimates, so don't take like don't be assuming it's coming. Da, da, da. We'll tell you guys when it's coming. We'll give you guys a release date. And that'll be that. You guys will get a release date. And it'll come out that day. No, no delays, nothing. We're, we are striving for that. We're striving for, for, for uh, perfection in release and rollout. We don't want to disappoint you guys. We've done it before. And it's, it's old to us. It's old to you guys. We don't want to do that. So we're going to strive for perfection in the rollout. And do the best we can for you guys to to deliver a good experience for you guys the player um with that uh, i've just been testing everything with my testing team making sure that every part of the server is bug free testing as much as we can still finding bugs so you know we got at least a little bit more to go we got a little bit more to develop uh, i got a couple more systems i want to get in oh a system i didn't mention that's being added this update achievements uh, if you haven't caught on by now this update's kind of big just, uh, it, this is our current biggest update. So, achievements will be coming with tons of stuff. All your quest completions, all your challenger unlocks, all of your... We'll count your challenger kills per challenger per star and per transformation even. Which is nice. Uh, there's also collections, collectibles, if you will. Uh, forms, techniques, all of that stuff attract pretty much uh, almost every part of gameplay is tracked in achievements almost i say titles is also a part of achievements just like the unlockable titles there's going to be more of those in game for you guys to get so that'd be nice uh, and achievements is one of the it, it it's one of many to come not this update but just in the future systems that will extend gameplay for you make one part of gameplay like questing better because it's just like i get this from beating this quest I just got I just got an achievement just for doing that. It, it's just a nice feeling. I realize again, it doesn't massively change anything. It's just something for you guys to do and enjoy. I love achievements in games. I, I'm an achievement hunter, you know? Gotta go for hundred percent, but you know, um totally open to suggestions. There's still time for those suggestions to come in for that system. Of course I'll be a little bit limited just because I don't want to be doing anything massive, crazy, and have to spend um months on months on months developing we are not looking to be releasing uh multiple months out trust me the, the uh <laughs> the window for release is nowhere near half a year nowhere near three months We're, we are doing our best to get it to you guys as timely as possible and again you guys will have a release date at some point um i i got no news on a release date or anything like that but uh uh to end out the video i just want to explain something the 1.2.5 update is sort of separate from gt they come out at the same time however gt being the story quests the challengers that come from them the um challenger stages yes there is some of those for gt that's cool right haha <laughs> there's two of them uh you guys should guess what those are probably get them wrong but whatever um the forms anything from gt like just g anything that comes from the quests will be uh an expansion like the movie packs you guys can um order it and you'll have three weeks of access we decided to do this content ahead um so the day 1.2.5 comes out everything we've teased we actually haven't teased any gt content fun fact uh all of the 1.2.5 update will be available for every single player um all of the gt content like just gt questing and etc i just talked about will be um be the expansion season pass divine whichever way you get the expansion pack just like the movie packs and the reason we do this is just it's a great way for you guys to support development and just you know yeah it's a cool little system so I hope you guys understand that it's not like it's not permanent again three weeks so from the day 1.2.5 comes out three weeks later everybody will get access that's cool you know just yeah so I hope you guys are as excited for this update as we are we are working our absolute best 
you guys to deliver the best product possible. Um, continue being patient. Your guys' patience has been amazing. And I hope you guys have enjoyed a little bit less teasing and hyping. Uh, you know, I haven't been trying to get you guys jumping out of your seats, really, as we have in the past. Because I I've just learned at this point that, like, I'd rather you guys just be mildly excited and just be patiently excited than literally be jumping and waiting every week for news and release dates and etc. Like, I'm sure some of you guys are like that and thank you, but, you know, we just want to... We don't want you guys jumping out of your seat when it's when we're not ready to release yet. We'll, we'll start hyping you guys up once it's ready. Trust and believe the hype will come and we will hype you guys up for that. So I hope you guys are ready for the update. I'll see you guys soon. Probably at a podcast. Catch me at the podcast. Um, you typically find out when the next one is. Just check in our YouTube channel. It should say next um upcoming live stream i i put them on uh the saturday like seven days in advance before they happen so that's nice hope you guys enjoy this video i hope this answered your questions and showed you guys some new things uh yeah thank you all for your patience once more i can't thank you guys enough i'll see you guys when i see you